Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I have a major update for you guys on the Trevor Bauer story. Trevor Bauer just continues to be more and more vindicated as time goes by. We have an update for you here. Another one of his accusers has been exposed. This one is now potentially facing jail time and criminal charges because of her actions. But just to give you guys some background information for people who maybe are unfamiliar with this story and how it began, Trevor Bauer it was a star pitcher uh, for the Dodgers who was targeted several years ago. In my opinion, this was a targeted hit by a group of people who saw him as you know, too powerful, right? Too successful. This was a man in his prime. He was probably at that time, maybe one of the top five pitchers in the world. Okay. So he has money. He is a non-self-hating white man that was uh, in some cases like he had the, the nerve to speak out publicly on some of maybe his opinions or politics or whatever. So he was kind of there was, in my opinion, many reasons that they wanted to take this guy down, right? Um, you guys probably remember Lindsay Hill from the, uh, my first story what women on who this, me of uh, which by the way, I apologize. I will link in the video description, um, for people who get confused when I put videos in the video description, I know this is difficult. People expect them to be immediately in the description. You have to scroll down to the bottom of the video description to find it. So I will link my prior video on the Trevor Bauer situation in the video description. If you're unfamiliar with his story, I highly recommend that you watch that video first, then come back to this one for the update. This Lindsay Hill lady, we're talking Amber Heard levels of crazy. She tweeted this out like she possibly um, did that to herself in order to target this man. Everybody saw the video that came out of her that morning that she left his house and she's smirking. We all saw, I've seen the text messages of her planning this out. If you're not familiar with that, like I said, go watch my prior video or I'll just give you a basic rundown here. Uh, tw uh, Trevor tweeted this out October 2nd of 2023. He says, two years later, and I can finally talk about this. Just imagine this, right? You are somebody who is successful, you're working hard, you're doing everything you're supposed to do, you're in your prime, you get targeted like this in a fake me too, you lose everything, you get canceled, you get fired from um, the major leagues, like you, you get your entire life destroyed literally on just the word of somebody else, like on allegations alone. And you guys know on this channel, like we care about people who have been falsely and wrongly accused and you know it's a very horrible thing just imagine that you get smeared like this your entire career is derailed that's you'll know he'll never get this back right this is somebody who was i guess you could say kind of targeted in his prime life destroyed here he is years later it took him two years before he could tell his side of the story and meanwhile the only thing people know about or are hearing about is what the media is saying or what other people are saying about you. So listen to this, like this video lays out with receipts how this predatorial individual targeted him in a premeditated fashion and how her goal was to defraud him. I mean, she lays it out there. These people tell on themselves they're not very smart. Um, and so he was able to get this information uh, via discovery. So take a listen to this. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. Could you imagine that too? The psychological way this would affect you as uh, a person just knowing that in your life, this is whenever somebody approaches you or you get to know somebody that you have to play this game of questioning whether this person is actually you know really authentically interested in you or whether they're there to try to target you i mean that to me is just such a sad way to have to live your life the answer take his money of so course how might that work 
I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. And we went, we don't need to re... Uh, hash this stuff. We don't need to go over it, but there is one part I do want to play for you. So they're talking about, she was t talking amongst her friends what his net worth was. Like this guy lost hundreds of millions of dollars because of the actions of this woman and others. Um, he could have gotten tons of sponsors. You all know how it goes. Um, it's horrible when you're like when you get targeted like this in the prime of your career though and just gets completely derailed told her you got to get this bag i'll give you fifty thousand. Lindsay replied her ha -ha. AA sponsor asked her Real at one funny. point do you feel a tiny bit guilty not really she replied since then her legal team has approached me multiple times about coming to a financial settlement of course because it's all about the money with these people he plays a clip here though this is the morning after she says she was subject subjected to a horrific um sa just watch the video and you'll know exactly like if you are if you've ever been a victim if you've ever known a victim um this is not how they act i'll just say that like this video, which was taken by Lindsay Hill herself the morning after she claimed she was brutally attacked, emotionally traumatized, and desperate to get away from me. Uh, and now we have the metadata, so there can be no dispute. Uh, it was taken mere minutes before she left my house on the morning of May 16th, 20... Now, look at that smug... She winks at the camera, that smug... She's like, gotcha. You know, she's very proud of herself. She knew exactly what she was doing when she did this. Um, it is very disturbing. And she's still, you know, this video laid it out. And she's still lying. Without my knowledge or consent, of course. Uh, in it, you can... That's another thing. Just imagine, too, that you're sleeping in the privacy of your bed and you have to be worried that people who are surrounding you who are attaching themselves to you could just be, I don't know, surreptitiously recording you while you're sleeping. Who does that? And that smug look she had on her face too, that smug, self-satisfied, oh, she thought she was real smart. At that moment, she was high on life, right? This is the narcissist in its glory of thinking that they have just pulled the wool over somebody or they've just gotten away with something very clever and they're very proud of themselves and they feel the need to uh capture the moment right to like she felt the need to record this highly incriminating video and probably without this video he you know may have had problems uh proving that she was lying i mean again amber heard levels of insanity and so now uh i want to give an update to the situation actually before i do the update let me go back to the browser real quick just to show you that she is still lying she's still um it, this video is from march 18th of 2024 this woman they did it they settled um she and bauer settled he never admitted to anything that he didn't do and i don't believe he had to pay her anything i think they wait the way the settlement worked was maybe legal fees were paid but in any case she got paid out by the insurance company though for like 300 million dollars again for something that it, it didn't happen according to a court uh, but listen to her and the way that she talks all right we're not going to get into a four minute materially false little youtube video it's funny that she used that phrase materially false because that's what a judge said about her and her claims that was the determination they determined that what she said was materially false so i found that interesting and misleading materially misleading so that looked like it was edited with the skills of a fifth grader not really i mean it it's edited just kind of like how any other content creator edits their video it wasn't particularly bad i mean i don't really know what she's talking about it doesn't look like a fifth grader put that video together to me we're gonna break down why no mlb team is signing trevor bauer oh are we and just imagine this face that having to deal with this vile 
person. She and this is a sick person. I don't mind saying this. Like I don't like to put people down or say nice or say unnice things about people. You guys know that. But you are looking at a grade A predator who is con trying to continue the lie after being exposed. I would have more respect for her if she just outright said, yes, I concocted this elaborate scheme to get the bag and I fumbled it. You know, I apologize. Like, I'd have more respect for her, but she's still trying to go with this lie. You imagine that. No one is signing him. So it's almost like the conservative media who attacked me, uh, they thought they knew better than, you know, a neutral arbitrator uh, who heard all the evidence from different. OK, a neutral arbiter heard the evidence, though, that you had. And Trevor Bauer has not been charged with anything. So I'm not really sure what she is trying to to convince people of here. Women, they thought they knew better than that. They thought they knew better than the top lawyers that were brought in, like Maura Penza, who brought down Keith Ranieri and Nixium. Again, not relevant though. Like how did, she'll bring up a bunch of irrelevant things, try to string this together to continue to try to gaslight. And just listening to her, you can tell this is somebody who is very bitter and very angry. And they thought they knew better than the investigators who uh, went through Trevor's life for 10 months with multiple women. Uh, just huge shout out to them first. So let's just. OK, and none of those investigators have criminally charged Trevor Bauer with anything. I can't even listen to her go on anymore. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the update to another accuser who, by the way, she mentions in this video where she's trying to still pretend that this was a thing. She mentions this other accuser who has just been uh, charged with fraud. More women who accuse me of sexual assault. So let's go ahead and listen to the update video here from Trevor Bauer. Uh, this was just put out recently. Just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. So <laughs> one of his accusers is already being indicted for felony fraud. Now, they decided not to charge Lindsay Hill. I believe she should be charged. Um, I think she should face criminal charges in the same way this other woman was. But for whatever reason, she should thank her lucky stars. She was somehow uh, escaped accountability for her actions. What are women who accuse me of- Okay, so going back to this, uh, he'll tell, he'll let him, we'll let Trevor set it up for us. Let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Well, today, the only other one- With the narcissistic uh, smirk. I mean, that- just as so telling and i love that we have that she couldn't help but self snitch she had to her narcissism the ego demanded that in that moment she was feeling triumphant that she documented i mean how embarrassing darcy don asimono has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man so now she's facing up to 16 years in prison her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were so here's some of the details oh uh, and i'll just give a warning before well, in, we're going to do a little cut here to give a little warning to people. What you're about to listen to is insane on multiple levels. I'll give a little trigger warning. It is highly disturbing. And yes, this is a thing people need to understand that women can, of course, be predators too. Just because their looks can be deceiving, it does not mean that a woman can't have a criminal mind with criminal intent and often More women who accuse they do. All right, so let's go ahead and get to where we were here um, now that I've gotten that warning out of the way. Felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were. So here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020. Nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it. Take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for very, very disturbing too, by the way. If you actually pause, you can watch this video on Trevor Bauer's YouTube channel. You can also, I believe it's also up on his Twitter. Take the time to actually read it. It is very, very disturbing. Four months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. 
At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Okay, Trevor, and this is where I have to tell you, sir, that should have been a red flag to you. Trevor, and well, like I said, he does not deserve the uh, false accusations and, and things that have happened to him. Certainly, he doesn't deserve that, but where he did make a mistake, in my opinion, is the lack of discernment about the people you're allowing in your life that you're getting involved with. And I hope that he's learned a lesson from this experience that there were probably a lot of red flags that came up with all of these women. And I think he was willing to overlook them for whatever reason. And I hope now that he has learned a lesson from that. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Oh, yeah, there's that that little issue, you know, it's just ridiculous. But could you imagine that like your life is in the hands of people like that when you allow people like this into your life, like you're essentially, uh, just imagine like, what were you thinking, sir? When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? Right. Like she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. Ooh, wow. Can you imagine, like, lawyers, liars, I should say, my goodness. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence, and they inform Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And it gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness, whom she knew, for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. I mean, guys, we don't even need to go any further to know that these are crazy people. Like, he's dealing with uh, psychopaths. And so I just want to go to now back to the browser here, just to the article on this um, Trevor Bauer accuser charged with allegedly defrauding exiled pitcher after faking a pregnancy like what goes through somebody's mind that they're willing to do that it's just crazy to me uh darcy adana esimanu i guess that's how you say the last name who sued bauer and allegedly demanded 1.6 million was charged with a one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on monday bauer and another man were listed as the alleged victims in the case uh, weeks after a grand jury handed down the indictment she was also charged with theft by extortion only against the other alleged victim um it's just insane. She could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. Fraudulent schemes and artifices is described as a, obtaining a benefit under false pretenses. Multiple outlets, including Fox, reported that Esamanu is the same woman who sued Bauer in Arizona in 2023, accusing him of holding a knife to her throat and choking her until she passed out. And uh, this is the woman here adana this is the other accuser who has just been charged and again 
I have to ask, sir, like, what are you doing? Where, sir, is your discernment? Now, I think he's only 33 years old, so let's be, let's cut him some slack, okay? He's a young, young man. He's, you know, everybody makes mistakes when they're young. Hopefully he's learned more discernment and is a little bit more, um, and does more vetting before just letting random people into his life, random people to get closer to him. And hopefully also he's given thoughts about his own, um, promiscuous behavior, which I do not condone, but I do not condone people making false allegations and destroying people's lives on that. And like, the truth is coming out about this. He has not been restored. Like, he's not getting his job back. They're not bringing him back into the major leagues. He, he was pitching in Japan, and now he's pitching in Mexico. And this is all because he let the wrong kinds of women in his life. And that's the other thing. They're, the quality of the women, there are better women out there. Like there are good women out there, nice women. They may not be the most beautiful. They may not be Instagram models or whatever, but you know, a lot of times they're, they're still very pretty, but they're nice people. There are people out there who are not psychotic like this. And you know, I al we always say, like, when something happens to somebody one time, maybe, like, they made a, a mistake, but if something's repeatedly happening to, to you, you're showing and exercising poor judgment. Now, I still think, though, he was the victim of a targeted takedown, um, and, and I maintain that. So, either way, that is wrong and unacceptable, and um, I think that all of these women... All in every false accuser should face criminal charges. If you try to falsely accuse somebody of something they didn't do and they could go to jail based on a lie, I think that the person making that accusation should have to spend that much time in jail that they were trying to, you know, do to somebody else. I think that that's just fair. Um, I'm interested to know though, what do you guys think? All right, have a good day.